Welcome back guys. It's Jack in the Box models. I'm uh got the Mustang 66 GT 350 painted. One coat of gloss coat. And to get to the decals. I know a bunch of you guys have built this car. Uh, I seen somewhere where somebody else had trouble with the decals. I thought it might be best if I started out trying to decal the hood and then work out from there in both directions. There's my first decal. According to the instructions, it's supposed to go from this crack across the scoop down the front all the way down here plenty of excess hanging off each end uh, hmm, I don't know I'm kind of at a loss here I've never had problems with decals before uh, outside of them just being old and disintegrating in water before I discovered gloss coating them first. I gloss coated these. I managed to save that front strip that goes from the scoop down. But when I put the decal up here it wanted to bubble up around this edge and it, it threw it off back here and then it started cracking and really looking like crap so I don't know I'm thinking uh, uh, you know if you guys got any tips or advice or whatever I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that I'm thinking about just taking the hood off and old schooling it and taping it off and spray painting those decals on because this is just not uh, it's not acceptable with Jack in the Box but uh, leave your uh, please leave your comments and tips down below I guess I can show you the rest of the car the, you know, the paint turned out good it's got one coat of gloss um, Rust-Oleum gloss on it that's the testers emerald green paint which you know sometimes when my luck holds out uh, I can spray paint a, a body this size and uh, have paint left over but I used a whole can the reason why I used a whole can is uh, where's my pointer thingy uh, these little pieces right here that I added, I sprayed them. I sprayed them separately, and then after I installed them, I had some glue peeking out around them. And I had to sand that down, respot paint them again, and uh, to get it halfway decent looking. But uh, yeah, that tester's lacquer paints the stuff, man. I wish I had some of that in every color. Rust-Oleum's kind of hit and miss. Uh, you know, I'm having I'm having a time with this this Nova over here too because of the paint. You know, there's sections of it it's really good, and then I'll spray a section and I get some overspray and I have to wet sand that down. I've got the hood upstairs. I had one little spot I had to wet sand on it. The rest of it was perfect. So the area that I wet sanded, I hit it with the Rust-Oleum. And uh, it started gatoring on me right away. So I don't know. I've got a temperature control room. Uh, the paint should not need to be heated. I know it's at least 70 degrees up there, 60, between 60 and 70. But any help will be deeply appreciated. 
that's all I got for now time to take a break back up and regroup and gather my thoughts and uh, talk to you guys later thanks